Hi, my name is Christine Brewald, and I'm a musculoskeletal radiologist at the University of Washington. Today, we're going to talk about ulnar abutment or ulnar impaction syndrome. The classic imaging findings on the PA radiograph of the wrist include positive ulnar variance, which is when the articular surface of the ulna is distal to the articular surface of the radius, and subchondral sclerosis and cystic change along the ulnar aspect of the lunate. Sometimes, these changes can also be present in the radial aspect of the triquetrum and ulnar head. In the setting of negative radiographs and a strong clinical suspicion for ulnar impaction, MR imaging is helpful in detecting occult disease. Findings of ulnar impaction on MRI include thinning of the TFC, often with a superimposed degenerative TFC tear and degenerative marrow changes. These can include edema and or cystic change, which is hyperintense on the T2 weighted images and hypointense on the T1 weighted images. Subchondral sclerosis may also be present, which is hypointense on both the T2 and T1 weighted images. Ulnar impaction is common and generally occurs sequentially as a result of repetitive loading of the ulnar aspect of the wrist. This affects the horizontal portion of the TFC, which acts as a cushion for the ulnar carpus and causes chondromalacia of the ulnar aspect of the lunate radial aspect of the triquetrum, and ulnar head. In advanced cases, tears of the lunotriquetral ligament can be seen, and osteoarthritis of the ulnar carpal and distal radial ulnar joints can develop. Patients typically present with ulnar-sided wrist pain, which is aggravated by ulnar deviation of the wrist and axial loading. Treatment is typically conservative. For refractory cases, ulnar shortening procedures can be performed. Differential diagnosis includes the items listed, with Kienbach disease being the most commonly confounding entity. In Kienbach disease, which is osteonecrosis of the lunate, the lunate is diffusely involved. The triquetrum and ulnar head are not affected. Additionally, Kienbach disease is associated with negative ulnar variants. In summary, ulnar abutment syndrome is a common cause of ulnar-sided wrist pain. The typical imaging features include positive ulnar variants, degenerative changes of the ulnar aspect of the lunate, plus or minus the ulnar head and radial aspect of the triquetrum. And remember that with Kienbach disease, the lunate is diffusely affected and the triquetrum and ulna are spared. Here are my references. Thank you for your attention.